Guys, thanks for joining me on Cooking with Tammy. On today's segment, I'm going to show you how to prepare jerk salmon. The ingredients that we're going to need are salmon, ginger, onions, scallions, cilantro, salt and garlic, and jerk seasoning. Let's start by prepping our scallions, also known as green onions and spring onions in different parts of the world. Next, we have the cilantro, which I'm going to give it just a couple of rough chops. Cilantro is also known in different parts of the world as shadow benny, coriander, or culantro. Next, we have the ginger, which I'm going to cut into small pieces that would allow full extraction of the juices during the marinating process. Also, ginger can be used as a flavor enhancer for your dishes. Last but not least, I'm going to prepare my onion by cutting it into thin slices. Once I'm finished, I'm going to take my salt and garlic mixture and spread it on the salmon. I'm going to repeat the same process on the other side of the salmon as well. Okay, on to the next step. I'm going to take about a quarter of a teaspoon of jerk seasoning and I'm going to spread it on the salmon. And I'm going to repeat the process on the other side as well. everything into your mixing bowl. Add two tablespoons of olive oil to your oven proof preheated skillet. Be sure to place the salmon skin side down first. Wow, look at the reaction you get after you put the salmon in your preheated skillet. Look at how the heat just penetrates throughout the salmon. The key to cooking perfect salmon is to allow your salmon to cook until the color changes about two thirds of the way before flipping. I allowed the salmon to cook on both sides for about two minutes. Believe it or not guys, this is starting to smell really good. Meanwhile, have your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and once I'm done I'm gonna place my salmon into my oven for an additional two minutes. Let's keep in mind that when you remove your skillet from the oven it's going to be hot so you don't want to burn your little chef fingers. So use protection, use an oven glove or a dish towel. Place your skillet on a safe countertop. Remove your salmon from the skillet to a separate plate to avoid the extra absorption of oil. Allow your salmon to cool for about 30 seconds to a minute before plating. Okay guys, I don't know about you, but I know I'm starving and it's time to get this salmon plated. Thanks for joining me. Until next time.